Hey there guys, and I'm back with Dynasty Warriors 8 with the Ambition mode in this. So, I've been kind of just... <laughs> I've been kind of waiting to start Wu's campaign because I just haven't had enough real time to go and actually do it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and start this, start that as soon as I can really. But I decided to go just play this mode for 20 minutes. And I actually got, st I actually got stuck. <laughs> But I, I am recording this post commentary, so I actually did cut that part out. Basically, I got stuck trying to run around looking for something. But yeah, I decided to go and just play this for a while, just because. And I'm trying to figure out if I can actually find anything to spend my money on. Though it doesn't really seem like, even at the end of this, uh, I need to play a bit more of it or such for me to actually start unlocking stuff. I'm not quite sure, really. But yeah, I've been meaning to actually start the Wu campaign, and I don't really know why I haven't. I mean, the first, the first uh, mission isn't really going to take that long anyway, so, so it's still leading you along a path. Really, it's telling you about uh, how you can get fame from these battles here, and fame, I believe, just governs is just a stat that governs if you can build some stuff. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So, yeah, I had to get really confused um, on this on this map here, even though I'm just... I, I just kind of barrel my way through, really. There's not that many enemies here anyway, so, yeah. So, I'm still using Sao Ren. I'll probably swap over to Pang Du pretty soon. And, yes, you can actually get through here. You don't have to go all the way around like we did before. Although Pangdu is actually um, my partner here, he will just follow you in and help you out. I don't know if we saw that last time. Also, you should probably take out all those boxes that you see on your way because they will always they always seem to give you building materials, and it's pretty much worth it. So I, I don't know if I get this one, but uh, yeah, any boxes you see, you actually want to smash open for once. Yeah, I think I, I think I don't actually get it, but I, I, I was really confused because I kept getting uh, trolled by the doors here. They kept opening and closing for some reason, and I'm thinking, can I get through here? But uh, yeah, this is the part where I don't actually see what I'm supposed to do. It says take the medicine back to the guy at the start. I actually f completely forgot that. Uh, he was even back there, so I, <laughs> I actually go around this way, thinking it might actually it, it it will lead me out. But I am just supposed to go back to the guy at the start. I just never read that message or the start of the <laughs> start of the uh, mission. So yeah, this door it keeps closing on me, even though the gatekeeper is through there. So I was really confused at this point. But uh, yeah, it should open for you if you do. If you do go back to the guy, because you've got to bring him to the escape point down there. So yeah, it, it is a bit longer than it should be, but it didn't. I did this by accident. It didn't take that long, honestly. Uh, I I made sure to cut out the part where I'm like running around trying to figure out what to do because no one wants to see that, right? There's also some bonus objectives in these maps. You're gonna see it later on. But uh, right now I go to the escape point and then see it's uh, shut off there. And I'm assuming I just need to get there, I think. But uh, that's not the case. So I eventually go around and kill all the officers that are around here. Hang on, does he even have his own horse, man? What's this shit? So yeah, I kill all these guys and then I'm like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> But uh, yeah, I also never came across any playable other play playable characters, so unfortunately I'm not gonna really have much choice in who I want to play as for now, at least. I just have these two <laughs> way officers for now. Well, that's fine, really. Okay, so yeah, now I'm going back there, and this is about the time that I realized that uh, it, the door's probably not gonna open. So yeah. Kind of just stuck here, but yeah, I do need to start Wu's campaign or whatever you want to call it. But the the first the first one actually has a 
optional objective on it. So here I cut forward to when I actually figure out that I need to bring it back to this guy and heal him. And now I've got to go bring him to the escape point basically, so that's that's great. Also there's some there was while I was going over there there was some peasants that wanted to uh, rescue over to the left there you see the other green square so I decided to go do that anyway because it would get me extra fame I believe I got 250 from that and I'll get an extra 250 from doing this so yeah not that it took me very long I was actually just waiting on the uh, guy getting all the way over there because I basically cleared everything out already and I just decided to move so here. For once it's a guy with a spear though, so at least there's that. Seriously, it's usually just the giant sword or the... What's it? The throwing knives? Yeah, that. <laughs> so, yeah. I, these, these missions are usually very short. It took me like seven minutes even though I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I just need to take out these last two guys and yeah once again there are no there's no real playable characters on this map unfortunately but yeah which i assume you automatically get to play as after you beat them that seems to be the way it works so yeah but then again there's probably going to be a lot of generics as you can see i got some materials for going and hitting that box there so you should pretty much hit all of them if you can because you'll need those and yeah, twin axes are fucking awesome. I even tried the Musa when you're close to someone here. I think it just makes it stronger a bit. And yeah, that's it. So it will also, I think it basically get, tells me to go on one more battle and then it kind of stops with the tutorial messages or whatever you want to call them. This one's a bit longer. But that's fine. Also, I still got max out gold here. I think I need to get the. Th I need to build the building that lets you level up characters. Because that's a way that you can probably spend quite a lot of money. But I don't have any access to that right now, so yeah. That's kind of my problem right now. <laughs> Apparently, Sun Tzu is my. my most played character. Right, so it's basically telling you how to win the scenario now. We got to get four facilities to max. I think it was like 300 allies and 5,000 fame. Which doesn't seem like that much fame if I just got 500 here. But 300 allies, I got like less than 50 right now, I believe. Something like that. But yeah, random generic guy over here. So, I, th I actually spent some time trying to uh, swap over to Pangda, and, well, first of all, I upgrade the blacksmith there. I don't know what the highest rank is, if it's 10 or... it's probably not just 10. It's probably much more than that, honestly, but I don't know. So here I'm faffing about with the menus, I just left this in, because I couldn't figure out a way to actually swap characters. Well, eventually I figure out that... Um, that you can actually swap the characters from here, but uh, actually, do I play as Siren in this one? I guess I do. Sorry, I, I I think I okay. I thought I actually swapped over now, but apparently not. And this is just explaining some of the game modes. Obviously, there's some material ones. There's fame ones here. So I think I picked the Wujang Plains. Alright, I must have forgot that I didn't actually swap over yet. So, Wujiang Plains, this is actually, it ends up me being all the way up here, so a huge run down there. Then again, this, wa this was one of the more uh, expansive maps, really. Especially when we played it as Shu, pretty much. I need to get used to some of the Wu characters as well. I like most of the weapons as well. For some reason I don't actually pick whatever was up there. I think it was an old restore. I couldn't really tell, but I think it was. Unless it was just another material. I'm not quite sure. But this is about, <laughs> about the time that I start realizing that I probably should be picking this shit up. 
There seems to be like one in every camp or something. So, yeah. So I've actually got to go and collect some stuff, though it's not really collecting. You, you can just run past stuff and pick it up, really. So, once again, this is a large-scale battle, I believe. Uh, so this means that there's quite a lot of generals here on the enemy side. Thing is, none of them, once again, are playable, and I actually get beat around a bit from unit commanders here. There's like four unit commanders that are actually listed as officers, but yeah. I almost escape here. I get hit on the way out, but yeah. I was actually looking in case there was actually a general there. I thought there was, but apparently not. I need to get off here anyway. So, <laughs> so the enemy we've got to defeat is all the way down there in the bottom right. I actually start checking. I always got the officer information for some reason. And Yufalu. I, I'm not quite sure who that is. Honestly, I, I'm like, what the fuck is that name? <laughs> it sounds like one of the... Um, what is it? The Nanman officer's names, but I don't even know if it is, really. If it's just some random name they made up. I don't, I don't even know. There's probably meant to be a space somewhere, but I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I decided to just basically take out some of these guys on my way over there because there is a few of them, even though they aren't playable, it's probably worth taking them out so you won't have to get as many guys later on. So, yeah. And some of these guys are actually using spears for once. I don't know, it just seems like in the ambition mode they use quite a, a bigger variety of weapons. I don't know if it's just me. But uh, see, I've not seen really that many giant sword throwing knives guys, like I have seen in the story modes. I don't know, it just seems to be that, like that. Yeah, so I go and actually get this thing here. Yeah, I guess that was a material I sk skipped at the start, because they all seem to look the same. But yeah, this is like the ultimate grinding mode, even more so than... Uh, the other parts of the game. Considering, well, I get, I guess, considering like con con conquest mode and such before, it's probably not as grindy. But <laughs> yeah, they always try to put in one mode that's kind of like free mode, but it does often require quite a bit more grinding to actually finish it. Of course, you don't ever have to finish it, but yeah. I actually prefer some of the modes that were in the older games, like in 5 Extreme Legends, which I didn't actually own, I played it a couple times out of friends, but uh, they had like Destiny mode, I actually really liked that. But then again, I went back and played like the older games and I'm like, wow, these are really slow and clunky. But yeah, I don't know, the mode was fun for what it was really. So I think I I just go and decide to just take out this guy over here. That's gonna be fairly simple. But yeah, I, I keep missing these boxes. I don't actually pick what's uh, in them. I, d I, I, d I, I think I looked and I didn't really see. I didn't really see them to pick up any building materials after this fight, which I'm like, well, I, I did. <laughs> so I, I I don't really know. Also, I, I just hang out with this general that I didn't kill for a while there. But yeah, you could go and do repeat battles if you really want to. Actually, I I, I realized that I, I just realized that I actually did another battle after this. You can do successful battles and eventually they will get you like the better horses in the game, but it's like 90 fights or something. Actually, let me check that right now. I think it's something like 90, it's like, it's like 60 and 90 fights in a row, which is just like ridiculous. Then again, they are pretty short, so I guess you could do that. You can save anyway, but I believe they get harder, so it might actually be a challenge by the end. So, where is it, where is it? Yeah, it's uh, six, uh, right, 30 for Shadowrunner, 60 for the Hex Mark, 90 for the red hair and 100 for the war elephant, apparently. 
So apparently you need to, <laughs> to do a hundred fights for the elephant if you want. So I think this is the point when I'm trying to set my character over. And I just can't realize how I, <laughs> how I can do it. Yeah, I don't seem to have any materials there, which is kind of strange, because I'm sure I got something right then. But, uh, yeah. So I got a change officer, I believe. But yes, you can, select bodyguard is actually here. When you actually try and select it normally, <laughs> it, it tells you it's in camp ma management, I believe. I accidentally clicked something there. Yeah, I, I, I'm just fumbling about with menus. See, it says camp management, but it's not even under that menu, the thing you're looking for. So, yeah, thanks for that game. Dude, make me s just fucking fuck around with menus for a while. For no reason. But anyway, so, I went back and went as Pang Du. And he's goddamn tall, by the way. But most of the weapons the blacksmith is selling are pretty, pretty poor anyway. So, yeah. I don't know how much this actually helps by, but I always just get that. I mean, if only to spend a hundred. Even though I'm just going to get more than that back in the next battle anyway. So I go and start a new battle here. And yeah, it's actually got a variety of stuff going down now. I believe I actually picked the same map there. Did I pick Wujang Plain again? I think I did. But it's, it is a, a shorter map here. So yeah, it is the exact same map. I, I, I didn't actually look at the map title, I just kind of looked at what it gave you, so makes sense, I guess. And once again, I don't believe we get any playable characters for this. Though, <laughs> I guess it's the Yellow Turban enemies. I don't know if these are the Yellow Turban officers, they actually might be. But yeah. No Jiang, uh, what's his name again? Jiang Diao? Something like that. I think it's that, yeah. <laughs> Not him. And yeah, this this takes like a minute, or two minutes or something. I just kill these guys so quickly. His weapon is pretty damn good, honestly. But it, it's just a bit slow. I, I don't know if I have a, a good one, a good version of it or something. But uh, unfortunately I am stuck with uh, Sao Ren's weapon. I think I just picked that by accident. I never actually selected it, but yeah, all I need to do is take this guy out. It didn't take very long, as you can see. But yeah, I decided to swap over from Sauren because I can. Though, I might have to go back to him if I can't get anyone else playable <laughs> for a while. I'm sure I'll run into someone at some point, but yeah. So, I may play some more, but I might not record it. I don't know, maybe get uh, a bit bit more leveling up because you've basically seen the type of stuff that you can do so I decided to just save it here and end it on that so I'll see you guys next time on Dynasty Warriors 8 ambition mode